Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So today's video is going to be covering how to connect Orca Slicer to multiple uh, printers that are connected to a single clipper device like this Pad 7, uh, where I set up uh, it to be able to connect with three different printers uh, using the one device. I've actually had five or six people ask for this video on one of my uh, previous videos on Orca Slicer. So I bumped it to the front of the line and went ahead and just made this really quick. Uh, the process isn't difficult. It does assume that you have your device set up with however many instances you wanted to work with. Uh, if you don't already have that set up, I have a video covering that. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you're using as long as you've got uh, the Linux distro there. I used the Pad 7 in that example as well, um, but it will work with other devices like a Raspberry Pi, etc. So with that, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. Uh, but before we do, uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And if there are any other videos you'd like to see, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or on Discord. I do try to read all comments that are entered as long as they're not held by YouTube. And then on Discord, if you at me, I uh, read those as well. I try to keep up with the entire community, uh, but there is quite a bit of activity there. So sometimes I am a bit behind. All right guys, so here's an example of a clipper device. In this case is actually my Pad 7, where I have three instances of clipper running. I've got it set to connect to my Ender 3 V2 and two of my Ender 3 Pros. Uh, only one of them is actually physically connected right now. Uh, so when we go into the other ones, you'll see a connection warning, but that's fine for the purpose of this video. If you're looking to actually get multiple instances of clipper running, I've got a video covering that um, released from start to finish. It's not difficult, uh, but I'll link to that in the description below. All right, so the one thing I wanted to show you in here before we jump over to Orca Slicer is the ports that the instances are running. When you go through and set this up, it will kind of tell you the ports, uh, but 7125 is the default port for the first instance. And then each additional instance after that, the port number increments by one. So 7125, 7126, and 7127 are the port numbers. And then if you go up to settings and go down to printers, you would see here that the actual port numbers are listed here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to Orca. I've got the first printer already added here, so I'll show you how to uh, connect to that. And then I'll walk through adding the other two printers and connecting to those. So this is my Ender 3 V2. Uh, so in that example, that was port 7127. So I would go ahead and hit connection here and uh, go to put the IP address in. Or you can also use the DNS name if you have it set up that way. So jumping back over to the Pad7 real quick, you can see here that it has um, btt-pad7.local. You could use that as well if you want, but I'll just use the IP address here because I have it uh, mapped statically. So then you'll put the IP here and then um, you'll do colon 7127. Uh, for that instance, then if you test, it should connect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. And if I go over to device now, it will show this, that it showed basically that it's connected. And then if I slice this, just do a quick slice, then go ahead and hit print. You can do upload or upload and print. I'll just upload it just to show you this example. So I'll put Ender 3 V2 at the beginning. And then upload. Now, if I go back over to uh, my pad seven and then go down, so I have this one selected, but just hit switch printer and then go down to dashboard. You can see here that it shows this. So if I go down to uh, G code files, it shows that it uploaded to this instance. And if I go back over to printers, like if I go over to the inner three pro and go down to G code files, you won't see that instance here. So now let's go back over to Orca Slicer and I'll show you how to add a new printer. So if you already have one of them set up and you set up this device to connect to multiple, uh, so just go ahead and go back over to prepare. Just hit this printer, the gear button here next to printer and go to select your printer. So this is the Ender 3 Pro. So just put uh, Ender in and then I'll just select the Ender 3 here. I use that. And then you'll see here that it added that to your list of printers. Then if you select that one and hit connect, you'll put that IP address and port number in for that instance. So that one was 7126. 
And if I hit test, it shows that I connected. Uh, so now if I slice this again and go ahead and go over to print, I'll just put Ender 3 Pro just to show that they are different files and go into specific instances. Uh, now go ahead and hit upload. And then if you hit upload and print, uh, everything is controlled by Clipper at that point. So you can switch between the printers in the slicer, send different things over to the other instances and kick those off while the other one is printing. But now if you look here under Ender 3 Pro, I've got the Ender 3 Pro file that I just uploaded and sent over. And if I go back over to my V2, uh, you won't see that file, just the V2 one that I had sent over as a test. And you can repeat this process for however many printers or instances you have running. Uh, like the Pad 7 with the stock board, you can get probably three or four instances uh, without an issue. Uh, if you want more than that on a single device, you're going to have to uh, A, get some sort of USB extender, and B, um, switch out the board uh, to one that has more uh, processing power and memory. And if you guys have any questions about what I covered here or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join me on Discord. Uh, like I mentioned at the beginning, this video was requested multiple times, so I went ahead and kind of bumped this up in the queue just based on the number of people that requested it. All right, guys, so that covered connecting multiple printers in Orca Slicer to uh, different printers on your Clipper device. Uh, it's not difficult. The main thing is knowing uh, which port is being used for which thing and mapping it correctly. Uh, but once you have that all set up, you're pretty much good to go. And then, um, like I mentioned in the video, if you do connect to one of them, send the print over to Clipper and kick it off, you can switch over to another printer without it stopping the print because at that point, everything is on Clipper, not on the slicer. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it interfering with the print that you just kicked off. Um, so overall, it's a nice setup, especially if you have multiple printers going. If you have any questions about what I covered here or would like to see any other videos, Go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord.